Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers as they match up with the great Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from Venerable Lambeau Field, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. That'll be taken in the end zone, and he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Steelers' all-time leading passer and two-time Super Bowl champ Ben Roethlisberger ready to lead this offensive unit. Now he's led him since his rookie year all the way back in 2004. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. That if you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. Barry on the punt as he gets this one away. Returnable here for Davis. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll go with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, 66 yards. And the Packers have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. 
Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, ah, guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got Moncrief. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Ben to throw again. And this is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. Here we go, here we go. Lock 80! It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Jordan Berry now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Let's go, let's go, let's get in it. 
A reminder coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Touchdown, Packers! Equinemius St. Brown, 68 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now Crosby for the point after. Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. From the 29, Roethlisberger. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. On third down, it's Connor. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Davis now to return it. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll weave his way up, all the way up, a few yards shy of midfield. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because 
What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there. And Rush coming, and he's taken down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Rodgers now to throw. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult. And how about this, a fake? But he will not make the first down marker. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Here's the Packer defense getting set to go again. A yeah, big reason why this defense is pitching a shutout, they have been bringing the lumber. And think about how they've been playing and putting themselves in a position to do it. Fundamentally sound, covering all the gaps, what do we call it, run fits when it's the running game, making sure they're locking down on the pass receivers, and that puts them in a position to be aggressive when they tackle. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guy. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tremont Williams. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Brandon, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. If there's a trick in the book, he knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters, and this is what he's always had. And that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. On second and 11 now. Rodgers. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 44 yards. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers. You hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he missed five. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever. This was a big score to start the second half. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. And give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And they're able to swarm him behind the line. And his rough night continues. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA okay. Sports. You ready? You ready? On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Screen pass to Connor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. But it'll be second down. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. This one complete, right side to McDonald. That catch good for five. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Washington. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Now it's Roethlisberger. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Roethlisberger will throw, and that will be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And one of the whistles for a timeout. 
So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.